Hello Virtual Pilots, I am Andre Celesti and welcome to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, where two helicopters are about to go head to head in the first stage of the Rotor Hip Championship here at How I Play. Today, the famous Huey will go against the Gazelle in a fast pace and low level race packed with difficult turns. The teams will be tested for everything they got. And they will start at the top of runway 24 right, where they will perform a takeoff and continue in a fast straight line. At the end of the runway, the first corner awaits with a tight turn to the right, followed by another one, so they will need to control their speed and level. After that, they will roll past the containers and prepare to engage targets. They will need to hit at least one in order to progress to the next round. Then the pilots will face a tricky turn to the right, packed with obstacles that can prove deadly, followed by a short straight, where at the end another tight band will wait for them, this time to the left. Beware the massive hangers on the right when performing the maneuver. Next is another straight that continues along the taxiway, followed by a zigzag course where the pilots will need to maintain correct speed in order to prepare for landing. Waiting for them past the last turn to the left is the finish line, where the pilots will need to land before touching the line. And the first to enter the race is the Huey, wearing the Santini Airwolf livery by Mike Busutil. The UH-1 helicopter will have a tough time today, as its weight is almost double than its opponents. The crew choose to pack both M134 miniguns to ensure they blast the targets effectively. Everything looks good. And we are about to start. Now as the front of the helicopter passes the start line, the race is on. This is going to be interesting. And we start! The pilot needs to gain speed, but keep low as much as possible in order to avoid any penalties. The Huey is powered by a single tubor shaft engine. It was developed by Bell Helicopter back in 1952 as the US Army required a medical evacuation and utility helicopter. It first flew in 1956. Immediate speed! The Air Wolf crew got a fast start and they are determined to keep it that way. For those of you who missed the last race between the hind and the hip, you can check it out after this to see who won the first stage. They will meet again for a second round that will take place in the near future. And the pilot is getting ready for the first turn to the right. And here we go. That's a tight turn. Trying to keep up the speed. Taking advantage of the Huey's agility in the turn. Passing the containers and preparing to engage the targets. Remember, they need to score at least one hit in order to progress to the next round. In the previous race, the targets were large oil wagons, but today they were replaced with smaller ones to ensure that the light helicopters can pack a punch. And there was no doubt whatsoever, the Huey smashes throughout the targets in a clean pass. Now let's see the pass between the light poles. Perfect maneuver. He needs to be careful, he's a bit high. Back on track and focus for the next bend. Another perfect pass, carefully avoiding the hangers. He continues on the straight path. It seems he almost took a wrong turn, must be the excitement. And now, preparing for landing, 
We saw the practice sessions and it's not an easy task to do it at speed, so let's watch it carefully. And last turn before the finish line, the crew needs to land prior or on the line for a perfect landing, otherwise they are risking a penalty. Lining up, it doesn't look too good now. And they passed the line and landed just after. The Huey made it in 3 minutes and 28 seconds, but definitely we will see a penalty for the landing, we will know at the end. But nonetheless a good race for the Huey and a decent time. Also keep in mind that their opponent is way more lighter and ready to make a good score. Next up is the Gazelle, the Lima model, wearing a US Army trainer livery by Marvin Palmer. The Gazelle packs the 20mm GIAT cannon and the rocket launcher for a good balance. It is way more lighter than the Huey, so it definitely has an advantage. So let's see what the crew can do on this first stage of the championship. We have liftoff and we start. You can definitely see the difference of speed at the start, determined to beat the fast start of the Huey. The Gazelle is powered by a single turbine engine and it features the famous Fenestron tail rotor. It was introduced in 1968 by Aerospatial and manufactured in France and the United Kingdom through a joint production agreement with Westland Aircraft. A fast and stable line as the Gazelle is pushing throughout the gates. Getting ready for the first bend, the Huey was very fast, now let's see how the Gazelle performs. High turn but perfect and stable with good speed. Now passing the containers at fast speed and next is the target practice. The Huey did a good job here, it seems that the Gazelle goes for a higher pass. One hit. And... That's it. Well, they did a job, got the point and moved on. Fast pass by the light poles. Next up is the small straight to the hangars. By the look of it, the gazelle will break some records today. A bit unstable in this turn. Whoa, almost hit a cone. That was close. You can see how the pilot lost the balance. Hope they are fine. Another tight turn, he's back in the game. Very low pass over here, and now the last turn and landing. If he doesn't slow down, he may risk it. Remember, the Huey did it by just a few meters. Let's see how the Gazelle will do. Oh, and they are quite high, past the required level. Yes, in an attempt to slow down, passed the line and still didn't land it. Strong slam to the ground, that was a hard landing if we can call it that way. 
The Gazelle made it in 3 minutes and 21 seconds, as we expected faster than the Huey, but the landing was very late past the finish line, so we will need to see the results. So this was an exciting first stage for these two helicopters, both made good timings but also a few mistakes that could cost them. Now let's find out who will be the winner for today. And we got the results, the Huey finished in 3 minutes and 28 seconds, with 5 targets destroyed and a 2 seconds penalty for the landing, so final time is 3 minutes and 30 seconds. The Gazelle finished in 3 minutes and 21 seconds with one target destroyed and 6 seconds penalty for quite a far landing after the line with a final time of 3 minutes and 27 seconds. So the Gazelle wins the first round of the Rotor Hip Championship, taking the lead for now. But this is not the end, these two helicopters will meet again next time in the second round of the Rotor Hip Championship. Right after the first contenders, the hind and the hip measure themselves again. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe in order to keep in touch with all the latest news and entertaining content here at How I Play. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe, and I'll see you next time.